Limelight Pet Project and today we are at Meow Cat Rescue in Kirkland and I'm here with Linda Rubin and we're in a room full of cats uh, but right now we are talking about these two beautiful black cats. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Yes. <laughs> so uh, this is Bounce and this is Tide and they are a couple of absolutely stunning girls. They are about a little over a year old and they've been with us here for a little while. We've been working on, they came to us under socialized and we've been working on socializing them and getting them ready for their forever home. I love it. So I can, uh, Tide is sort of giving me the eye over your shoulder like, I don't know you, but <laughs> I'm willing to stay comfortable here as long as you don't come near me. <laughs> which is okay, which is a normal, I think is super, super normal for any cat when they ha are meeting somebody new. But what's so amazing is as we've been here for probably the past like half an hour, Tide came out of the this box that's on the shelf out here. And so she's obviously become more comfortable, um, which is really hopeful and wonderful for any adopter. Absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. Like that. So t what are their personalities like? Because obviously they are, they, they look very similar, but they are different. We've seen some different um, things come out as we've been here. Yes. So Bounce is um, a little bit larger. She has this gorgeous kind of reddish sheen to her coat. She is the braver of the two. Um, she's very playful. She's very treat motivated. And Tide is her sister. She's a little bit smaller and she's a little shyer. Um, she takes her cues from Bounce. She watches if Bounce is comfortable and then she decides to come out. And also very playful and both of them are very affectionate once you gain their trust. Love it. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. They look so soft too. Yes, they are. And Bounce has this really glorious tail mm -hmm. that I'm jealous of. I, if I could have anything, if it would be a tail. And when she walks, <laughs> it'll just kind of yeah. sway. It's like she, she yeah. definitely makes a point to be like, this is my tail. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, ugh, I just love cats so much. So do what are their, they love treats. They do. do. they have a favorite treat? They do. They love freeze dried chicken. Okay. That is, and they, they also like those um, tubes, you know, the oh, churu. Mm -hmm. They like those a lot. Awesome. And then they, these two in particular, are hunters. They are. They are uber hunters. They really like a uh, wand toy or the laser pointer. We saw earlier my watch had a reflection and Bounce just jumped up and was ready for action. Uh, they're very playful, but definitely the wand toy and laser is their favorite. So good. So they are currently in this room with three other cats that they actually came in with? Yes, they all came okay. together. It was a mom cat and her two boys, and then she was also taking care of four other kittens. Wow. Well, yeah, they were about four months old at that point. Wow. And um, so they're siblings who have been adopted. And then you had these two fostered in your home. I did, How yes. long were they with you? They were with me for uh, about a month, maybe a month and a half. Okay, and what, what did you see change in them throughout that time? Well, when they first came to my house, you know, I, I couldn't even touch them. So I had them in a smaller area and uh, just started to, they started to know that I was the person who was bringing them food. And I, they would eventually come to the front of the cage for the, the food. And then I opened the door and then I would set the food. So they had to walk over me to get it. And then we just, eventually they became very trusting and Bounce was definitely the first one to come out and really explore the space, and then Tide followed. And then they just got more and more comfortable with me. They would lay in my lap. Um, I could pet them, play with them. So it was, a, it was a process, but totally worth it. And yeah, I was gonna say, it probably feels really good. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And so then once they got really comfortable with me, we wanted them to be able to be comfortable with more people too, so they came back to the shelter. So it sounds like they would be such a gift for the right adopter. Absolutely. To, to have that reward and experience of building that trust and, build, and bonding over yes. time. Yes. So what do you imagine 
a perfect home would look like for them? I think a perfect home for them would be maybe a home with other cats. They definitely like other cats. Um, a quieter home, not with a lot of surprising like parties or loud noises kind of and they definitely like a routine mm -hmm. um, so to help build that trust that they know what's coming next in their day so just a quieter home with somebody who is okay giving them the space to build that trust and then eventually I imagine they're gonna be lap cats I think that yeah. they're gonna absolutely love whoever I love takes that. care of them and so, do, I don't know if you mentioned this already, but how do you how do you think they would do with other cats or dogs and kids? I don't know how they would do with dogs. Um, they do very well with other cats. Um, I think if the introduction is done correctly, mm -hmm. you know, given the proper amount of space. And I don't really think they would be great with small kids. Yeah. Probably older children. Mm -hmm. Cat savvy. Cat savvy. But I think small kids, loud running, mm -hmm. I think um, it's would a be bit tough. much for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I can handle dogs running and playing. I, I do okay. But I totally understand from a cat's perspective. Cats want, they want that safety mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if Tide and Bounce had a human job, what do you think their jobs would be? Oh my. What would, they, what would they be the perfect fit for? I think that Bounce would be like, oh my gosh, it would have to be something that she could explore and, you know, and hunt or, so maybe she'd be like a security guard, I don't know. Or maybe a recruiter? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, <laughs> Tide is a little quieter, but she's very uh, sweet and affectionate, and maybe she'd be a librarian. Oh, yes. I love that. Um, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a lot of cats that are definitely, like, a manager of some type because of their, like, the, the big meowers who are like, let me tell you what to do. But these are not. They're not mm -hmm. meowing. They're, no, they're pretty quiet. Yeah, and a lot of solitude. So maybe even something like a forest ranger or mm -hmm. something that's yeah. adventurous. But yes. I love the librarian aspect of her, her <laughs> Tide. That's fantastic. <laughs> so if someone sees Tide and Bounce in the segment and they think that they have the perfect home, what are the next steps that they need to take toward adoption? Um, they can go to our website, uh, meowcatrescue.org and fill out an application, and one of our volunteer adoption counselors would reach out and interview them and talk with them a little bit further about them, and they'd make an appointment and come meet them. Awesome. Well, thank you, Linda, so much for sharing them, and thank you for fostering them and giving them that really great opportunity to come out of their shell, thank you. and for sharing that with us, because we love to learn those stories about how cats and dogs and all animals have really transition through the love and the care that the people who care for them give them. Absolutely. It's really rewarding. Yeah. So, oh, I yeah. highly recommend fostering. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> awesome. Well, this is Marco with the Limelight Pet Project, and we shine the light on harder to adopt pets because their stories are worth telling.